Hello, Internet. Uh, nice to see you again. Just wanted to get a kind of a quick update out. I've been thinking about this video pretty much all week. Uh, it's Saturday right now, the 4th of November. And um, the reason I've been thinking about this week is because I've just crossed my one year mark uh, from my initial diagnosis back on Halloween 2022. So actually Tuesday of this past week was my one year anniversary since my diagnosis. So, you know, the whole thing has been very kind of heavy on my mind uh, during this last week. And I've wanted to get on here and just uh, post a quick video just acknowledging that for several reasons, mainly just because it's been an unbelievable year since Halloween of 2022 all the things that have happened. If you're not up to speed, you can go back and take a look at my previous 16 videos uh, that I've recorded since the summer, where I uh, kind of went all the way back to the beginning. And I didn't start making videos when I first got my diagnosis. It took me until the summer to get to a place where I felt good enough and I was ready to kind of rehash the whole thing. So um, my very first sort of overview of what had been happening, I recorded back in July. And I think this will be the 17th video since then. So anyway, if you've missed the story, you can go back and uh, watch previous videos to see how things have unfolded. But yes, I did cross the one year mark. Uh, yes, it's been the most difficult year of my life. Uh, of course, we all know life can deal us some heavy blows in all kinds of different areas. And I have had a few other years in my life which were very, very challenging. But I do have to say that this last one was the hardest of all, for sure, uh, at least physically. And physically, it was hard enough to where that it kind of shut down everything else as well up until as I said, just a few months ago when I've started to feel much better. So one year has gone by. I am extremely grateful and thankful uh, to God. I feel very blessed that I made it this far and further than I originally thought I would when I got that diagnosis. Um, and I'm also very grateful and thankful to you who are watching and Others, you know, there are plenty of other people who I don't think track along with these videos, but yet are in the friend and family circle, and they just have maybe different social media habits, and so they're not always getting on YouTube. But people that I'm in communication with regularly, who I know have been praying for me, have sent texts and emails and phone calls at the right times, and just people who just really bless me simply by being there. Uh, so thank you to all of you. You know how much uh, that means to me and how much you mean to me. So so that's been the last year, and now we are into the first week of year number two. And I do have uh, an important date that's coming up. I'm not sure if I'll get another video posted uh, before then, but next Friday, the 10th of November, uh, I'll be going back down to Mayo for the first time in about five weeks, maybe six weeks, actually. It's been the biggest period of time that I have not had to go down to see uh, any doctors at Mayo at all. So anyway, uh, Friday the 10th, which is next Friday, not this coming Friday, but wow, it is this coming Friday. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's just six days away. Um, I will be going down for blood work, a CT scan, I'm going to have an echocardiogram, and then later in the afternoon I'll be meeting with my oncologist. And the meeting with the oncologist will be to go over the blood work and the CT scan because usually it takes only a couple of hours, uh, maybe three hours to get those results. Uh, available. And so by the time I meet with my oncologist later in the afternoon, we should be able to have a good consultation about uh, what the blood work and the scan shows. Uh, on September the 13th, I had ablations. My liver and my 
left lung, um, and we got rid of lesions and small nodules that were trying to develop. But, you know, I've got stage four cancer and um, I've been told, you know, that I'm a candidate for redevelopment, new, new metastatic development. So we've just got to keep an eye on it. And right now I'm still not graduating more than you know, about two to two and a half months between scans. We need to really stay on top of it. And if there is some new development uh, from the CT scan on Friday, then we'll have to decide how we're going to tackle that. So anyway, that's for another video. But uh, for now, I think that's all I wanted to share. Just a thank you to you guys again. And uh a deep appreciation for your prayers and your friendship and your love that you all have sent me and uh, would appreciate you keeping me in your prayers on Friday. And uh, I will, of course, be back later to update you. So I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.